Curacao. Me and my cousin Jasmine are here. Oh, sorry. You're in it. Where? Oh, hi. <laughs> we are here because JetBlue was having some sort of a package deal of flights of vacation. And neither of us have been to Curacao. And that's why we are here. We just checked into our hotel. We're staying at the Corridon Mangrove Beach Resort. It's an all-inclusive resort. Um, but they are not letting us get our room early, you know? They're saying our room is not ready. And I don't know what time it is, but they said that the room ain't gonna be ready until four. So we have at least an hour and a half wait, at least. And it is hot out here, okay? It is freaking hot. But we're gonna make the most of it. I'm happy that the sun is out because when we arrived, it was pouring and raining, okay? Cats and dogs. But now it's sunny. Okay, it's sunny. I'm looking forward to getting my last tan of the year. This is going to be great. I mean, other than the fact that I'm sick, which, um, I don't know, my family had it out for me, family and friends had it out for me last week. I mean, it was like they were making an effort to make me sick and they were successful. My mother coughed in my face, my nephew coughed in my face, one of my coworkers, I went to lunch with him, the next day come to find out he got the flu. I'm like, why was it destined for me to be on this beautiful island country? sick so I'm hoping that the Sun works it's like natural magic it helps me feel better very soon but I do have a remedy kit of all the things I got vitamin C I got cough drops I have Tylenol I have teas okay we're gonna get we're gonna nip this shit in the butt because I don't have time to be sick in this beautiful place. We're gonna make it great. We've officially been here for about an hour and a half. And, a half. and we still don't have a room. It's 3.49, so I want to go check and see because check-in is at four o'clock, they say. At 3.49, I go check and see if the room was ready and they say, no, it's not gonna be ready until four. So in exactly 11 minutes then, 11 minutes, all of a sudden the room is going to be available. Can somebody make it make sense for me? Can you make it make sense for me? Because it currently doesn't make any sense to me. So yeah, what I'm finding here is that these people do not prioritize time at all. They do things on their own time. Which would be fun and great if we didn't have heavy ass luggage, you know? We really just needed to get into our room, freshen up, change our clothes. But no. So instead of being in here at four o'clock we were supposed to be, you're in here at like 4.45. That may not seem long to y'all, but we arrived on this resort at around two, so. That's why y'all are seeing me kind of aggravated right now because it's very rare that I go to a hotel that's not able to let you get to your room sooner than later, even if you arrive before the check-in time. So I'm feeling a way about that. And even when y'all saying that the check-in time is at four, we still weren't in a room at four, so. Okay, it's evening time now. We're about to head to dinner while I am sucking on a halls because I still feel sick because I am sick. Um, 
I feel like today was a bust because we weren't able to get into our room early and really get to enjoy the beach all that much. But that's okay, we have tomorrow. And hopefully I feel better tomorrow with all the vitamin C that I've been taking, the tea I've been drinking, the holes I've been sucking on. Like, I really do hope that I feel better tomorrow. Also not the worst it's ever been when I'm sick, but I don't know. I don't know people. I don't know if I'm going to um, feel 100% on this trip. 100% being not sick. I feel bad. I mean, not just for myself because I'm sick. I feel bad, you know, because my cousin is here and she probably want to do things <clears throat> to explore more of the area and <clears throat> I have a feeling I'm just not going to be up for it. So um, I hope this trip isn't a bust for her, for me. It's not looking too good though, people. <laughs> I just want to let y'all know that I don't know how interesting this vlog is going to be. Hmm? Yes. I don't see us doing a lot or getting outside a lot. I, <clears throat> at least I don't see myself doing it. <clears throat> 90 cent, 90% because of how I'm feeling. Um, the other 10% is because nothing seems appealing here to me. <clears throat> um... I will say that this is a family friendly resort, which I was not expecting. I was expecting for there to at least be a 50% occupancy of single people, including men in that. Um, that is not the case at all. So, me no length that. Um, what else? my cousin and I were just talking about how wet it is in here and outside it's wet like there isn't a lot of humidity but everything just feels damp the floor in our room is just it always feels wet I'm realizing now that the the bedding on the bed it just feels damp our bathing suits you know did not dry in the bathroom last night so now we're just putting them outside in hopes that they dry and I'm not understanding why things are so damp here wet or damp if somebody knows please let us know I guess after the fact when this finally gets posted but still let me know because it's not making any sense another thing I wanted to talk about are these braids that I got specifically for this trip <clears throat> look wise I'm loving them I really do love that you know they look so full and the braids are thick um, making me feel like I'm not bald headed like I did the last time I got braids in my hair the issue is I did not know that having this much you know hair to create the thickness of these braids was gonna be hella heavy. I didn't know. I am not a frequent um, braid getter, you know? And this, wow, they are weighing on me, okay? Going to sleep is uncomfortable. Wearing them down is uncomfortable. Trying to put it up in a bun is uncomfortable. It's a lot, you know? Um, so I don't recommend getting this type of a style you know, large braids. These are called large, you know, braids. But don't do it to yourself. 
because your neck will not be thanking you. Your head will not be thanking you. I'm hoping by tomorrow, I don't know, it, it will stop feeling like my scalp wants to come off. Maybe tomorrow. But of course, I love the look. I love the look. took a little nap it's not that I feel better I don't feel worse though so I gotta take my wins when I can get them I am hoping that <clears throat> in a couple of hours my cousin and I will be able to go out to the resort property explore I found a restaurant that I'm willing to give a try um, since, you know, the resort food here isn't, you know, the best. So, I'm willing to spend money on food and hope that it's going to be very good. The place that I found is about a 20-30 minute walk away. So, I mean, hopefully, um, it's, it's a walkable path. <clears throat> and we ain't going to be like walking along a highway or something like that. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed for that but I am determined to get my ass out of this room explore a little bit of this country this area um, I don't know if I told y'all but my cousin and I completely forgot to bring like travel converters with us um, for me I realized that it's been years since I went on an international vacation and because of that I completely forgot that <laughs> I need to bring a converter with me <laughs> so we are out here struggling trying to keep our battery up uh, as much as possible but we are gonna have to get a converter because the um, USB cord that they have with their outlets uh, ain't doing nothing it ain't charging it'll look up nothing but they have a gift shop here and I feel like it would make sense for them to have those things available in the gift shop for us to purchase. Please. outside people we made it outside the temp has gone down just a little bit it feels much better though in the shade as opposed to in that sunlight that sun is still you know doing a lot um so we're going to brave these streets and try to walk to the restaurant that i found um we'll see how long jasmine lasts because i really i think she really wants to take a taxi or something And since I'm, I'm not one to like asking for help, I don't want to have to ask anybody for help on how to get somewhere, get a taxi, all that stuff. So I just, I'm okay with walking. Um, the good news um, is that we're going to be able to charge our devices now because we were able to get an adapter. It's called an adapter, not a converter, people. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, we were able to get an adapter at the front desk. Um, for ten dollars and we'll get the ten dollars back when we return it so thank goodness once again that was 
Jasmine's idea. Jasmine is never opposed to asking for help. I was just ready to go to the gift stop or gift shop and buy one, you know? I need to do better with that. I hope we're at, where we're going is called Myra's or Mara's Kitchen or something like that. I'll put the name on the screen if I remember. I hope the food is good. Though I don't really have much of an appetite because I'm sick. But I just hope that it's better than the resort food. We made it to the restaurant. I didn't realize how sweaty I was until I got here, moved my sunglasses, and a waterfall fell from my eye area. Um, but it's cutely decorated. Uh, the kitchen isn't going to open until 6 o'clock, and we got here at 5.22. So we are just going to hydrate up until it's time to order something. dinner my meal was okay Jasmine's meal was great um, you know having a restrictive diet sometimes can really really suck especially when you're on vacation um, because I can't really have dairy right now because I'm sick and having dairy is just gonna make my symptoms worse I don't eat beef or pork so I'm stuck with fish and chicken I wasn't feeling any of the fish and chicken meals. So I got a watermelon salad. I should have known I wasn't going to like it because it's a salad. Um, I wish the watermelon was sweeter. It wasn't. Um, and then I ordered the grilled honey corn, which was alright. I wish I was able to order Jasmine's meal because that looked absolutely delicious. One day, maybe I'll indulge and eat beef. Get to a point where I'll eat beef once a year or something like that. <clears throat> this area of Curacao is really cute. A lot of the buildings are very colorful. Um, and this seems to be like a downtown area where you can go shopping. We passed some shops on the way here. Um, so, who knows? May try to come back out, do some window shopping before we leave. Now we're just heading back to the resort. Maybe we might get into whatever festivities or activities they have planned for the evening, if they have anything planned. Our third day in Curacao. <clears throat> um, I can't do it. <clears throat> when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh my god, I feel better. Is this cold gone away? <clears throat> and then I realized that no, my throat is bothering me. And I don't know if you could tell with the sound of my voice, I'm sounding just a little different, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> so the cold is not gone <clears throat> and I have a weird voice now but um, I still kind of feel better than what I have been feeling so hopefully tomorrow my voice will be back where it needs to be <clears throat> it was some sort of a thunderstorm last night so <clears throat> That's why you see it's all gray. The ground is, is extremely wet. I woke up a few times in the middle of the night because the thunder was thundering, okay? That thunder was out here making itself known. 
We're heading to breakfast. Oh, and they decorated for Halloween. Look at the balloons. to the pool people today I am feeling so much better than I was the first two days um, my throat isn't even bothering me anymore I feel like my my voice is back I'm trying to speak as quickly as possible because you know they have this not in royalty free music in the background I want to say that I enjoyed my pool time however five minutes after me getting into the pool when I first got here um, somebody vomited okay like um, six feet away from me and apparently my cousin let me know because at first I smelt it right I smelt it but I had been smelling a vomit smell all around that pool bar and my cousin was like it's the wood it's the wood that's the smell and I'm like well it just smells like a whole bunch of people have been vomiting around this daggone bar then so when I pull up to the bar in the pool again I'm like yo it just they smell like vomit around here and then my cousin she said that she hasn't been smelling it like I have but then she was like oh I smell it too and then she looks over and she's like oh that woman over there is vomiting I never moved out of the way so fast and then I started coughing and so the woman that was one of the people that was helping the woman vomit like having her vomit in a bucket then starts turning around comes to me with the bucket and trying to say something to me and I'm backing away like what are you what's happening what's doing I still don't know what she was saying I still have absolutely no idea what she was saying but why are you coming near me with the vomit bucket it was not a cute experience I am fortunate that at this resort there is a separate pool that's not connected to this big one or it's connected to this big one but it's not like the same water um, right over there so that's what I was able to get into after that because I'm not getting back in this one at least not today I know that they you know add a bunch of chemicals to the pool at night so maybe there's another chance I'll get back in this section but as adults can we please understand what our limit is and then not vomit in public pools like this Somebody from the staff had to help this woman go back to her room. She was out of it. Completely out of it. Handle your liquor, people. Jeez. So tell me why I just tried to go into the pool area that didn't have vomit. Okay? It didn't have vomit, but do you want to know what it did have, people? It has shit. Somebody has shit in the pool multiple turns up on the floor of that pool now I just can no longer get into the pool at this resort because people are nasty why are people so fucking nasty I am pissed this ruined my day I just soaked my braids in the shower water over here and my body trying to cleanse the shit off literally the shit I'm so upset. itself up once that sun went down. It has been really surprising and I could not rock that long sleeve polyester dress any longer. Okay, uh, I had to come in and put something else on. Right now, um, they're doing karaoke and my cousin is trying to convince me to participate. I love karaoke, but I love karaoke with friends karaoke with a bunch of strangers. 
different. So we'll see if she actually gets me to participate. Jasmine killed it. She sang Heat It from Beyonce, you know, the Renaissance album. Now, she kept on trying to put the mic in my face because she refused to listen to me. I don't know the words, okay? She did get me to say Heat It, you know, when that would come up on the screen. And my voice just paled in comparison to my cousin because my cousin can actually sing. I cannot. When I do karaoke, I perform. I do not sing. Um, so because I wasn't singing, I was I was dancing next to her. When the wine part came up, I whined a little bit, but that, that was the extent of what I can do. Overall, tonight was a good night. You know, dinner wasn't that bad. You know, we're gonna look forward to, you know, getting food from somebody local tomorrow and hope that it's infinitely better than the food here on this resort. <laughs> Like the car rental place saying we're gonna come and pick you up or us saying we're going to go to you to pick up the car you know apparently for both parties it was just automatic that this is what we're doing so Jasmine and I show up at the car rental place which turns out to be somebody's house I wish they had some sort of a parking lot in front of their house that had cars a very very residential neighborhood and I was very confused. I was in this taxi, like I'm not getting out until somebody tells me that this is a legit car rental place. There's like zero signs. This is, this is weird. The taxi driver, so nice, he called the number, found out that, oh, we were supposed to meet the woman at the hotel or at the resort. She's currently there, so now she has to drive back and she'll be able to get to us in like 10 minutes. So that was a very special experience, but you know, everybody here is very nice. The taxi driver was nice. The um, car owners of the car rental company was nice. Um, this car is very interesting, though it is a automatic um, car. It's not automatic like in America. So there's a stick we gotta pull up. No, they that's don't... an emergency brake. That's normal to have. Oh, there's an emergency. <laughs> Have I been driving for years and have no idea about an emergency brake? Absolutely, <laughs> no idea. So that's an emergency brake. But um, like, there's no park. There's no there's no park thing on the manual. So thank goodness Jasmine is driving because I have come to accept um, that I take a very long time to process things. And as this man was giving a tutorial of how to drive this car. 
I'm like, I am not gonna be able to do this at all. I was ready to go look up on YouTube to be like, <laughs> how to do this. And have to watch that video many, 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 many times. But I'm glad Jasmine, you know, gets things quickly. It's a rainy fucking day. <clears throat> and from the looks of it, it's just going to be raining all day. Not like how it has been the past couple of days where it would rain for a bit, but then it'd be sunny most of the day. Uh, so we were wanting to go to different beaches around here. That's just not. Don't say that. It's going to be like when we came here. It was very rainy. And then the sun came out and it was unbearably hot. Jasmine's going to hold that vision for us. I'm just going to look at the current situation. You have to believe. Yeah. You, you. I believe the man, Te'awer, whatever he said. You can certainly believe. Um, so we are at the first beach that was recommended by, you know, the person at the car rental spot I are we getting out of the car I mean you're recording so whenever you're ready <laughs> so we're gonna get out of the car in the rain to look at this beach apparently and um, maybe I'll show it to you if I feel like taking my camera out to Casa Bao Beach. Though it was a trek to get here, I am happy we made it. This is a very beautiful beach from what I can see. And I'm about to show you why it's so beautiful. pristine water there's not really anything I can say bad about it <clears throat> it's to get in it's six dollars per car they also try to charge you to use the beach chairs there saying like it's three dollars per beach chair but nobody asked us for money for a beach chair so we didn't pay anything for that um, we swam now we're looking for some food It's our last day here in Curacao, which means we are just going to be checking out of the resort and heading to the airport. But I'm realizing that I didn't really like speak to y'all after the Casa Bajo Beach yesterday. So I just wanted to come in and do a little recap 
in a two minutes since I don't have that much time left on this SD card so let me skip into it after the beach we went to this restaurant don't know the name of it but I'm sure I put the name of the restaurant on the screen somewhere before where I had conf for the very first time in my life and it was the best meal that I had in Curacao I highly recommend the restaurant if you're looking for someplace good I highly recommend it people there were great nice wonderful from there we went to Beach Lagoon in which I liked it because we didn't have to pay to get on it that's number one. Number two, it was very, very nice scenery. It was a small beach, but very nice. And even though it was small, much better than the beach here at this resort, like miles better. Um, I will say if you're going to these beaches here in Curacao, please bring some water shoes because the rocks will tear up your feet. Um, from there, we just came back to the resort and hung out by the pool. And I was able to have actually one drink, okay? Well, half a drink really um, since being here because I didn't want to drink when I was sick. Um, now, would I come back to Curacao? I would come back to Curacao. I would um, probably like to stay somewhere on the west coast of Curacao. If not the west coast, um, maybe I would want to try a resort that's near or on Mambo Beach. Would I come back to this resort, the Mangrove or the Corridan Mangrove Beach? Absolutely not. I just, I would not come here because um, it's family friendly and kids shit in the pool have no desire to be around that um, the food was bad okay very bad and um, it was just like mostly damp in this room the only way for it to not feel damp the temperature had to be at 22 degrees Celsius which was fucking freezing absolutely frigid and I just I was already sick to begin with ain't nobody got no time um, other than that, for the most part, yeah, sure, staff was great, but I require a different kind of resort experience in order for me to enjoy it, apparently. Anyway, I have 15 seconds left. Thank you for watching this video. Don't know what... That's a lot. I am taking another international trip next year. It's going to be in May, so maybe I'll see you then. Bye!